Alrighty, my fellow dudes and dudettes. Hello to my dog Raven in the background, Riley making her way out. Uh, today we get to look at the ongoing saga of the Streamline RC Thrasher jet boat. Now, I'm telling you, between you and I, I've got to see this company since the very original. I got to be a, a part of the Kickstarter program. I got, I got to see this thing get birth, and I got to even work one-on-one -on -one with the engineer who came up with this all Scott Penestri, who is a fanatical engineer about improving the RC jet boat uh, uh, area of the hobby. This is something of, of a basher boat that he always wanted to build and he had this great idea with his son when they were out jet boating one day or RC boating and they had this brainchild. Look at this. This is no longer version one, version two, version three. This is now the Thrasher 27. 27 inches of pure basher jet boat and you might go to the website right now and look at the price of this boat that is 27 inches long and say what the hell would make this cost so much money everything is designed built and assembled in the United States of America the engineering that has gone into this blows other manufacturers out of the water. Some people might say I've got experience with this. Some people might say I'm biased because I might have some sort of stake in the company. I do not. Zero stake in the company. I just support an, uh, an entrepreneur that is working his butt off to make sure that the world has this kind of option for rivers, creeks, open water. Look at the bottom. You know how a jet boat works? You know a jet boat sucks water in from the bottom. There's no, there's no prop. It sucks water in from the bottom and gets shot out the back nozzle. Now we'll talk about this briefly because I know you guys just want to see this. But look at this. You want to see it in action. Look at this. This is a skid plate. A replaceable skid plate. This whole boat is done in sections where if you unfortunately, what, you bash the front, you can replace the front of the boat. What, you bash the top, you can replace the, the back. The top. Encapsulated. Receiver. Completely waterproof. I changed the end to a QS8. It came with an XT90. This Streamline RC jet and motor combo, this, this whole thing was designed by Scott. Their own um, ESC design that they paired up with this design of the motor. This dual bilge system. This is a self-riding boat, but what it does is when it actually flips over in the water, which is possible, it's rare, but it does happen, especially when you're doing stunts, what happens is it quickly takes on water and flips itself over. See, it takes on water, that's right, you heard me right, there's all that foam in the front. It takes on the water, it rolls it back over, and then dual bilge pumps, one here and one here, eject the water from the back of the boat while you're driving. And because there's ceramic bearings on the inside, you never, ever, ever have to do any kind of greasing or anything like that. Look at these giant exit pump, um, exit uh, tubes. Unreal. Waterproof servo. Sensor in here can keep that pump going in there constantly with the water coming out if there is water on board. Doesn't hurt it, doesn't really kill the battery life. Look at the new cav plates on the back. To my friend Everett, who is back in Alberta, who is watching right now, brother, shout out to you. I know that you also launched the Streamline RC Thrasher jet boat with me. Look at the new nozzle, buddy. You can dial everything in. Apparently, this new version has eliminated, to a point, the porpoising and made this into an incredibly fast machine. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to put a super heavy battery in there. You don't need to put a brick like this in here. This, this weighs pounds by itself. 6800 6S in here. I only have a back pond here. I don't have like an open straightaway. But you know what? We're going to give it a little rip and see how it does. <laughs> nice, Scott. Even the back of the battery straps have like a rubber bit on it to keep the battery from sliding forward or around. 
I'm literally trembling while I'm plugging this in. I don't know if it's the excitement or not eating anything with my coffee. Oh, it's beautiful out here today. A little later in the afternoon, the water is a little low, but not a big deal. Go around to the other side. Yes, the grass is starting to grow where I planted it down there. Starting to look pretty good. Here's the waterfall. Might as well toss the thrasher in. Hey! -oh. <laughs> hey buddy, good to see ya! Just giving it, what am I at, half throttle there. Now remember, this thing doesn't have a rudder. And in fact, what has to happen is I have to power it uh, to turn it. Oh, Scott, it's so smooth, dude. That is unlike what it was before. Wow. Wow, dude. That is a different machine. Oh my God, the roost. <laughs> yeah, no rudder, so that means you gotta give yourself some room to turn, right? But even though, look at this, the Thrasher can rip in an area that's very tight. I am thoroughly impressed. I'm making my own whirlpool. Damn. I've taken these boats to the mountains. I've taken them to waterfalls. I've taken them up canals. I've gone in lakes with them before. And this is the smoothest ride yet. Wow. This is power that I normally only expect out of a um, out of a prop boat. And that's one thing I noticed before is that the Thrasher always seemed to, you know, it always, it was running on 6S, but it would never feel like it was reaching its full potential for speed or torque off the line. Look at that. This is a different beast. Hi girls, what are you thinking? It's pretty neat, huh? You want to eat it. <laughs> Scott, it's like riding on rails now, pal. See, that's the whole thing about the Streamline RC product. Ever since Scott started doing this whole uh, company, it's not like a mass manufacturer. It's like one dude and a helper basically making these boats and every time there's a problem, he's always figured out a way to improve it. And so he's always taken the customer's feedback and anybody that owns a Thrasher watching this right now is gonna concur if they've ever dealt with Scott. His customer service is bar none the best in the industry. Probably because he's not a huge conglomerate and does this you know, as a business, but really it was driven out of passion. Unbelievable. I'm gonna have to get out to a bigger lake. I'm gonna have to get my buddy Troy out with the Spartan, maybe Mountain Mike can take out the old, what is it, the M? I can't even remember what the model number was. Who cares, Thrasher, that's what I wanna do. <laughs> we should have like a jet boat race day. Woo, oh, the carving ability with those back plates. Oh my God. It's like I'm about to have my own O-Face right here on camera. Wrong website, guy. Woo! Yes!